He's going for it. Dunko, you are a lifesaver. Oh no, he's gonna... Oh! Hello everybody and welcome to Jurassic World Evolution 2. But this time we've got some lagoons to get to. We are in the showcase map, which actually we've got plenty to show as we have the latest DLC slash free update to cover. Also, sorry that this took a little bit of ways to um, get to for the video's release um, due to um, school stuff as well. Been busy with film projects and stuff the last while, like as usual actually. I've been very busy, so these videos are a little bit late, I do apologize for that, but we're going to get into it, and before we get into the lagoons, I've got something special to show. We're gonna do first, um, a f we'll be doing two videos, this one's gonna be mainly the paid stuff, but also, I wanna show something that I did not expect, and that was kind of a little bit cheeky, because we've got some carnivores in here, but... It turns out, apparently, the Spinosaurus has a few new tricks, which, let's get to them. I, I know this part of the free stuff, but this is just way too awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. So, for those who, well, use Spinosaurus a lot, you may remember that it used to just walk out and then, like, it sort of cr sort of squatted, I guess you could say, and it like roared towards um the camera and such. That was basically what it did. Nothing too fancy in comparison, but you know, it was nice and such. It was all right. But now in the free update, it had this is its new hatching animation, which ver really does fit with the Spinosaurus a lot. It kind of reminds me of the Indominus Rex as well, because the Indominus Rex. So many times in Jurassic World would, like, go on its hands and, like, do that. But Spinosaurus, like, both for its paleo, paleo accurate version and also, you know, just it in general, even in the movies, and also Camp Cretaceous did it a few times, would do that. I, ju I just love that. But it's also got another brand new fight animation with large carnivores, and it. I think it's mainly with T-Rex because, well... It's inspired by a controversial moment in Jurassic Park 3, which is why we have the Jurassic Park 3 Rex. It shakes the camera. Now, this new animation is cool, but it's also very frustrating because it still does a disservice to T-Rex. But it does leave me with hope for more that we will get in the future. Oh, looks like they might... Are they going to finish it off? Damn, Spinosaurus... I mean, not Spino. The T-Rex is already looking quite pale. It's kind of weird. Okay, finally, they're back at it. After, like, 20 minutes and such, they're back at it. Good God. Now, we should be able to see this time if they stop kissing each other. I think the Spino's, like, nearly... Oh, oh, there we go. Ooh. Oh! 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 That's the PG-13! Look away! And there it is, like, my god, it's just as brutal and as controversial as it was in Jurassic Park 3. The Spinosaurus has been gifted, out of nowhere, a brand new killing animation, which is pretty much exactly like it was in Jurassic Park 3. And exactly like in Jurassic Park 3, it's completely inaccurate because, well, Spinosaurus has no thumbs, so how the heck is it breaking his neck? And also, how is its femur not destroyed by this tank of a head? But, despite that, like, while I hate the death of the T-Rex and stuff, like most people, even most Spino fans, actually, that I know don't like that it was killed so, like, inaccurately, but... It gives me hope that we're gonna see more. Like, I'd love for them to do one with Indominus Rex where, like, it's pushing T-Rex's f or any large carnivore's face down to the ground and then, like, pushes them to the ground and then, like, lifts them up and slams them back down like it did with T-Rex in Jurassic World and then, like, crushes. Or, like, it's death... It's kill animation with uh, Ankylosaurus. That would be so great to see. There's so many things that this leads to. Like, we could get T-Rex, like... We could even get T-Rex having a new one where, like, it, like... 
um, grabs their neck, throws them around multiple times, grabbing their face and such. There's so many options that they could do for T-Rex as well. Like, there's so many things, awesome animations, like even some Dominion spots. I'd love for them to do something like that. I've said this in the past that I wanted, like, them to give more unique film-styled animations and stuff. I've even given, like, suggestions like this before in the past. But I never expected it to actually happen because, like, not many people really talked about it, I guess. It's it's just so weird. I, I love it. But now that... But... Blah, blah, blah. I can't speak today, guys. But now we're going to go and look at the aquatics. And also, guys, I do want to announce one more thing before we go, because I kind of forgot to, is that we have a Patreon, so if you go there, please do support the channel that way as well. There will be special benefits for there. I will... There is a description in the video description, so go and check that out. But now we're going to go into the lagoons. Now we're going to go into that actual paid-for stuff. And we're going to start with ones with these lovely rocks, because these are awesome. And we're going to start with probably my favorite inclusion, the Archelon, which is the biggest turtle of all time. And also, fun fact, my mom just recently got a turtle tattoo, so this was perfect timing, really. And... Archelon just looks so freaking cute. Oh wait, hold on. I need to unmute Isaac. Give me a second. Let's go. Inhabited this planet the longest. It's normally the likes of crocodiles and sharks that spring to mind first. But Earth's prehistoric waters were also home to some mighty impressive turtle species, just like this one, the Archelon. Huh? That's all you gotta say about my beautiful turtle? I'm disappointed, but. Archelon looks absolutely gorgeous. Like, not gonna lie, I was not expecting them to do too much with, um, marine species variety. Like, it's something that I've liked the Spinosaurus thing. I've said that I wanted. I wanted more variety. Like, I've wanted stuff that, like, could go out of the lagoons. Stuff that would be, like, living on the bottom of lagoons. I wanted all those kinds of things. And I didn't think they would do most of them. But, like, Archelon... Is one, it's a famous one, but I never thought they'd do it. And, like, I'm so glad they did because this guy is absolutely gorgeous. And we're going to release a few more because I want to see if we can catch them um, getting on these rocks. Because, along with the next species we'll show, these guys can go onto those rocks. Unfortunately, not onto the mainland, but, you know, work in progress. Now this is a full batch just to see his com comparison and look at the turtle squad go ooh we got a pale one leading ooh that's a nice one ooh hoo 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 the turtle squad it's the ninja turtles Raphael Donatello Michelangelo and Leonardo whichever one's your favorite leave in the comments below but oh whoa 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 I think I found my favorite of this batch and it's this guy, he is nice. Oh, that red with the blue and green. Hot dog, that is awesome. Any turtles on land yet? Turtles, hello. Oh, wait. Ooh, socializing. Are we going to get the animation? Because this is something that's new. Oh, the other one's you turning. He's making his way, I think. Oh, I love the call they make. Oh, whoa, that guy is going like he's... He's got a speed boost. Oh, he pooped his nose! Oh, oh, God, we're getting terrible frame rates with that. The result of the nose boop is bad frame rate. Great to know. Anyone on land yet? Oh, wait, yes, we've got a turtle! He's done it, Archelon 3! Oh, wait, I think uh, we're going to get Archelon 1. 
We are? Ooh, are we gonna get the land social animation too? Oh, look at him flop. He's so cute. He's so cute. Derek Dillard, dead goats. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, there we go. He's like, oh, excuse me. I'm coming through. Oh, jeez, he's pushing me over. No. Oh. Oh, he got some attitude. He's like, fine, I'll find my own rock, you big bully. Oh, oh, he's like, yeah, you better run. This is my rock, man. I'm the king. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, he tried. Archelon 3 owns this rock. Oh, he's itching him. Oh, bless. Oh, my God. Turtles are so cute. Now I'm going to just torture myself and uh, release a Mosasaurus. What the fuck? The giant of the sea. Also, I wonder if he's still the biggest, actually. I'll have to check in the stats. Oh, hi. Archelon won. Oh, he found his own. Yay. He's like, I'm not going back in there. Did you see that giant Mosasaurus? That thing's scary. I am going to unpause that, and we are going to move on to the next species. I'll see if I get a notification. And the next species is... The Nothosaurus, which I'm a little decisive on my feeling of him in in this. Because it's not because uh, he's a Camp Cretaceous creature. Like, that's not my reason. Oh. Me this thing has legs? I said, no, it's staying in the water. I don't want to be receiving reports of it running rampant in the sewers, showing up in elevators. Nothosaurus? <laughs> not a chance. Okay, I don't know why, but that sounds basically like Frontier saying, uh, yeah, we could, we could do it on land as well, but we don't wanna. Which, no disrespect to them, like, I'm, I'm glad Nothosaurus is in. I'm, I'm glad it's in the lagoon more than land, because, like, well, mostly, I wish it was on both. But, I will say, this guy looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at the scales on him, like, damn! And also, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be its, um, Camp Cretaceous skin. Because if you go into the hatchery, we'll go in there just before we release the rest. Uh, Nothosaurus. Um, if you go into its skins, look at that. Nothosaurus 2022. Which, yeah, Camp Cretaceous Season 5 came out a year ago. And this guy was introduced, which, oh my god, that's so scary to think about. It's been a year already since the last Jurassic content. Ugh. nightmares but it is absolutely gorgeous and not the source is the second species that can go onto the rocks as well but i do wish that you could hatch it on land i mean you can with like glitches i'm pretty sure or like of course mods but like for console gamers it's like no they can't but let's release a full batch oh we get a low dutch angle interesting oh we got a spinny boy Oh, it sounds. Oh, they sound like a pack ready to strike. Oh God, we're doing the 180 loop. Well, actually, it was more of a 360. Never mind. Oh, we got some variety of beauties. Which one do I say is the lucky winner? Well, actually, I think it's this one. Oh, nice pinkish red there, and like, goddamn, those scales are just. The scales win me over for this. Now the source is like, damn boy, he just be good. And he is nice, and I like it, and also he's like, oh great, I have to share with these buggers. And, now that we've seen them, let's, uh, release another Mosasaurus. Let's just see what happens, you know? We gotta experiment. Oh boy. Yeah, this ain't good, I just killed them. Like, I'm a thousand and twenty percent sure- Oh my god, I just felt- I just got flashbacks to Jurassic World where it pulled the Indominus down with that. Just I can hear it going- making its call and it's like, uh, nightmares. 
But, oh, do we have any on land yet? Nope. It doesn't seem like the Mosasaurus is going after them either, which, good god, man, get an appetite. We're gonna move on to the next one, which is over here. The g giant ichthyosaur itself. The Shonisaurus. Which is just holy beautiful. Look at that girl go. Nice. And damn, it is big. One of the largest known ichthyosaurs to have ever lived. I just said that. Is a scientist the Shonisaurus. Years of studying their fossil remains filled researchers with a vision. A confident vision, but a vision nonetheless. And now we see it realized before our very eyes, ready to show the world. So it looks like that it um eats fish, which makes sense really. Like that skinny of a mouth is not going after a shark, even if it is like five times bigger than a shark. But like, I wonder how it'll stand up in fights and stuff. I don't think it's gonna, like, go and straight up, like, chomp on a Mosasaurus. But, like, I did see an animation where it, like, bonks into a Mosasaurus, which is really interesting. Like, not many things can go after the Mosasaurus in the game. I know, like, Chronosaurus can, like, nick at it and bite it, but I've never seen anything kill the Mosasaurus. So, and I know th I know from the stats that this guy is the biggest one other than Mosasaurus. I think Tylosaurus might cut it, but I'm not sure. But its match ha max hatching is two. So, uh, we're getting the same camera angle. What a shame. So you get the first one. And then the second one just goes right underneath. He's diving down. And, ooh, that back one looks... Damn, why is it always the darker colors are really, really good for Lagoon species? Like, these, this one is just, like, hot dog. Like, that is awesome. I love it. Expand territory. And, of course, we must do the necessary requirements and release a Mosasaurus. Ooh, look at them. They have their social animation. Wait, no, stop. Hit the pause. No, I missed it, didn't I? Oh, well, it looks like they were, like, spinning around each other and such. Oh, man. Oh, wait. Oh, they're gonna do it again. Well, uh, it's a little janky because, well, they're next to the wall. But, yeah, they do spin around each other. Oh, look at them. You know, they kind of sound like quiet whales, which, with a little bit of chirping like an ichthyosaur. Like, I like that. I was really hoping that it would have, like... Oh, yeah, that's a... Damn, these guys really like to socialize. They're like, we ain't leaving. Most source like, uh, can I hang out with you guys? It's like the two whales at Dominion. It's like, can I hang out with you guys? Oh god, we're getting it janky again. Oh, there we go. Oh god, are they di- Oh god, they're diving underground. No, Shoney, get out of the ground! Oh, thank god. I think those guys are classified as inseparable. Now, do we have an other source on the land yet? Gosh darn it. Okay, can Mosasaurus go after none of them? Look, I'm going to try a Light Pluridon, alright? Light Pluridon, get in there. Uh, do I have anything else in here? Chronosaurus, get in there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa! Oh, for... Really? Seriously? Seriously. I'd go away for f four seconds. Not even... And you kill. Well, we know that Mosasaurus can kill Shonisaurus. Okay, confirmed. Oh, wait, hold on. He's hunting down. Mosasaurus is going for one. He's... Which one's he going... Oh, he's going for an Othosaurus. I don't know which one. Oh, I think it's this one. He's... Oh, wait. Oh, oh. No, no. He's right under it. Oh, oh, he... Oh, no. 
Hulk. Oh, and he throws him, as usual, almost into the wall. The Moses horse has claimed his kill. Okay, they're going for each other. They're going for another one. What's the Moses horse gonna do? Oh, oh! No, oh, no! He's chopping! No! Show me! No! He got to half health and Mosasaurus silenced him. What a shame. Mosa, why? Why the cuties? Why? Oh, look at his eyes. It's sad face. Well, that's just sad. That just really is really, really sad. And I don't like being sad, so we're gonna move on to the final species, the giant fish himself of doom, the Dunkelosius. The Dunko Dunko. The fish that everyone thought was gonna be the Megalodon, but is in fact much worse. Whatever you do, do not write off the Dunkelosteus as just a big fish. There's no teeth, just two pairs of bony plates. Hi. Without warning, they could snap shut with the bite force greater than a wolf, greater than a lion, greater than an Allosaurus. So keep your toes out. Oh, that's it, really? Wow, jeez. Not even greater than a T-Rex for his size, wow. And they said Dungalosius was intimidating, like he barely is better than an Allosaurus at bite for us. Wow, let's just get out of here. Come on, back to the turtles. <laughs> someone in, someone who watches like, HOW DARE YOU INSULT MY BIG FISH! Now, Dungalosius is one, probably the one that I was least interested in, not gonna lie. I, I love Dungalosius, but... I was more excited about the others, not gonna lie. But it is great to see this giant deadly fish. Ooh, are we gonna get him uh, going after the feeder already? Oh, no, he's expanding territory. But I, I I love this design and such. Like, the Dunkelosius just looks badass. Oh, there we go. Here's the big surprise. He can go after the fishies of sharks... Just like our good old Mosasaurus and Kronosaurus, which just makes you wonder why the heck Tylosaurus can't either. Oh, he's gonna spin around? Oh my god, he got some action music, and he's going up! Oh! Oh, what a slam! He just, like, yeeted himself out and, like, didn't even flinch at that shark. He took it down. Nice. I like it. I like me a good old fish. And let's release three more as that's his max amount. Oh, damn. What is this music? This music is just damn. Like... Is this new music for them? Because, like, Jesus, it is really nice. And now we've got a pack of Dunkos. And we've got some badass skins. And, of course, I favor to the darker skin, which is Dunko 4. He actually looks not too bad. I do like that red one, though. Not gonna lie. These guys are pretty nice. And I am 9,000% sure they will go after stuff. So we are gonna first release some lovely breakfast for them. Starting with a pair of plesiosaurs. Just the right size for them, I think. Get a good old chomp on that neck, you know what I'm saying? You put those bony plates to good use. I can't say teeth because they don't got teeth. They got plates of bone. And also, now that we've gotten everyone's quotes, I'm gonna shut the audio down for those people. Because I don't want to hear fake Chris. I want to hear the real Chris. Alright, play again, and we're of course going to release some Ichthyosaurus, 
And we're going to take out that shark feeder because I just want to make sure that, you know, they don't um, choose that over. And we still got one Nothosaurus dead. We got the Shonies dead. And, yeah, no Archelon's dead. So Archelon looks like he is completely... Oh, God, he's going through the rock. Oh, look. Oh, look at the... Look at these as he goes over and look at that big fish. Oh, look at the Dunkleosius. He's huge. But it looks like we finally found a species that... Arch that um, Mosasaurus can be friends with and you don't have to worry about him getting eaten and that's the Archelon of all things the turtle himself is safe which I know you're thinking well he's got a hard shell Austin and I'd say yeah I know but I also know that in Jurassic World they literally stated that turtles got to be breakfast for the, the Mosasaurus and they're not being breakfast here but, you know what? I'm not complaining entirely. I just find it funny. That's all. But my god. Mosasaurus, kill somebody. Preferably a Dunkleosius. I expected more from you, Mr. Mr. Dunko. You keep saying looking for food, but then you get back to roaming. Which is it? Are you roaming, or are you gonna give me a content boost? Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on! Pause, 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 pause! Hold on! Gold, Jerry, gold! Dunko's going for something. Dunko is gonna make me a happy papa. Is it you? Yes, he is. He's going for it. Dunko, you are a lifesaver. Right at the end, I'm like, I've given up on this damn fish. And he's like, nuh -uh, I'm doing it. Oh, and the Dunko's going for the icky. Oh, which one's gonna go first? He's going for it. Oh, he's, oh, come on. He's, oh, is he gonna lose it? Is, hold on, let's get on to the... Oh, he, he might escape. Oh, no, he's slowing down. He's turning. No, what are you doing? Speed up. Oh, no, he's going to. No. Oh! No. Oh, oh, God. Swallowed. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Uh, Dunko. Oh, Dunk. I caught him just in time. That was amazing. But now it's time to see the ichthyosaurus. Get the bite. Where's the ichthy, actually? Hold on, hold on. Ichthyosaurus, uh, which one's he going for? Ichthy 2. Ichthy 2, he's further away. He has a chance. Oh, he's going the wrong way. He's so dead. He's like, I'm fleeing, but I'm also going straight towards him. Oh, God. Oh! Oh! Oh, swallowed whole. Fleeing the Dunkleosaurus. No, you're kind of in his stomach. That was good timing. We just caught those right at the end, guys. And that is a great way to go for the conclusion. I hope you enjoyed this video. We're going to stick with the Archelon this time now. But if you've enjoyed this video, remember, as I was saying, we're going to do a free video update. I'll also probably be doing a special little teaser video because I sort of tease something if we go up, up, and away over there, but closer to the city of Malta is something quite sinister. But we're going to stick with the turtle for now. But until those videos come out, I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you haven't already, leave a like. And also do hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. But until the next time we see this lucky fellow turtle, I'll see you later. Bye bye